Hi everyone, this is Mary at Bensell Greenhouse in Toledo, Ohio. And today I'm gonna to be talking about hanging basket Boston ferns, ferns of any kind that you may have had outside, um, hanging on porches, in shady spots, outside in your yard, all summer long. And what you can do to bring them inside and not see that you're going to have this pile of foliage um, that has fallen about a month after you bring it inside. So right next to me, I have not a true Boston fern, but it is a variety of Boston fern called an elegantissima. It's a beautiful, deeper green leaf, and it tends to grow up a little bit um, as opposed to it being flattened and dropping. But the theory is the same. It doesn't matter what kind of fern you have growing in a pot or a hanging basket outside. The technique is going to be the same for all of these. So Boston ferns, ferns of any sort, are in the top 10 of plants that actually help clean and purify the air in the house. Many people want to bring these lovely, beautiful plants that have enjoyed the humidity and all the rainwater all summer long into their house. And now it's mid-August, so something to think about by the end of August, first part of September, before you bring your plants inside. So I usually recommend any house plant that has been outside that you want to bring in, you want to bring it in when the temperature outside is about the same as the temperature inside. Do not wait until there's a threat of frost, which means it could be anywhere from 32 to 38 degrees in temp, and bring that plant into your house. You have almost a 30 degree temperature change, and what's going to happen is your plant's going to drop all the leaves, you're going to get angry, throw it away, and it's going to make a mess on your floor. So what you, there's a couple things that you can do before you bring your plants in. And we're going to talk specifically about ferns today. So I have this beautiful fern. It is thick. It is lush. It's lovely. And if I bring this inside and try to continue to do what I've been doing outside, it's not going to like it. So we have to do a few things to this plant before we bring it in. First thing I'm going to do is I, I loosened off the handles or the hangers. And again, I take my plant and I take the basket and I turn it on its side and I just work the plastic pot a little bit so I can pull my fern out. What I love about this, okay, and it's just going to take you a little bit of time, is ferns grow all over. So you can see that there's little fronds growing on the edge of the basket shape. They are thick in the inside of it. And so what I love to do, and we often do this at the greenhouse, is I am going to, first of all, I'm going to take my knife, and I am going to take, again, about a third to almost a half of the root system away. If you are cutting through these little balls, do not worry it's going to be just fine. I consider the root system being cut very similar to you getting a nice clean haircut. So I've taken away the bottom. The next thing you want to do is you want to cut into the plant. And I look throughout and I see that like all of this right here that is growing, I've got all of these mini little Boston fern clumps growing over here. I want to save all those. And we're going to multiply our Boston fern plants. So we're just going to come in here and cut this away. And I'm going to save all this. I have this really cute little hanging basket right here. And I'm going to drop this into here and just kind of watch it grow. Fill it in. Now it's got a lot of space. There's a lot of fronds that I can see shooting up here and they're going to continue to grow. I have a second plant already. The other thing that I'm going to do is look into the root system of this plant. And I can see there are a couple different divisions. So there's a plant right through here. There's a plant right here. I'm going to go with my knife in between these two plants and I'm gonna cut it in half. All right, so what I end up with 
is a beautiful clump that now is not totally um, root bound and it's got a lot of good space. I'm gonna grab my basket and I'm gonna stick it inside and top dress it with a lot of soil. So what you have now is you've got half of the pot that is root and the other half is gonna be fresh soil. Now this plant, as it starts to grow back in your house, for the first month or so, it's going to grow back roots. It's gonna stay nice and green on the top and the roots are gonna to continue to grow in the pot mostly through December. And then all of a sudden you'll start seeing the rest of the pot starting to fill out. And you've got a nice amount of soil that continues to support the watering that you're doing, as opposed to it being so pot bound that when you water it, it flushes across the roots and goes right out of the pot. Now you have a nice amount of soil that holds the moisture that the Boston ferns or any fern of, of any variety loves especially in the winter when your air starts to lose its humidity as we get into our winter months, that plant needs more moisture in the pot to pull it up into its fronds. Now you've given it a really good beginning so it's not so pot bound, you won't have all of that foliage falling and, and, and falling all over your floors. So this is a good technique. We've also now just made two new plants. So this guy, doesn't even look like in this hanging basket like we've done anything, but we've literally cut a third of the plant away. So this guy will put some soil in, he'll get hung up again. And this one now, what I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna find my hanging basket and I'm gonna start him off. Now we have two ferns that look beautiful and will grow out throughout the winter. You won't have all of that mess and you're gonna continue to have a beautiful, healthy plant that helps to purify the air in your home. Hopefully this helps and enjoy your Boston Fern.